actually want to get personal or I want to get close Let's with get you. I want to get personal good with you. Branding. So everybody of, take off your pants. <laughs> so a lot of the things that you guys do, it's a big, it's a, it's a big family venture, right? We all got to do this together. We reap the rewards oh, together. What we see from the outside. And that's what we see from the outside. Yeah. And I think um, that's what, that's what's awesome about having a team, but also the teams are made up of teammates, which are individuals. And so like one thing I always wanted to know is out of all the things that you've done, right? And like, let's say the world does end for some reason and you're on an island by yourself or you're just by Ooh. yourself for some reason, post-apocalyptic, what is something that you've done that you feel like you can pat yourself on the back for? You're like, you know what? I know I live in this world by myself, but fuck, that was tight, you know? Oh, that is a good question. I mean, again, my head's in the clouds, but right now the fucking Nike shit that we just did yeah. is like, uh, for the culture, yeah. I think uh, legacy. I think mm. the word legacy comes to mind. Yeah. Like we yeah. just talked about the noodles and stuff. Yeah. That's like fucking cool. Yeah. That's not like necessarily like my legacy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but with what we just did with, uh, being the lead consultants and, uh, co-designing with Tinker Hatfield, the new dance shoe for Nike. And it's not like, it's not like, um, not pay less. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, what am I trying to say? If I were like a sick ass basketball player in today's world, it's like like Kyrie or something like that, yeah. getting to make another shoe. It's not like there are all these other shoes before me, Kobe's and Jordan's yeah. and all these, it's, this is like, there's no other concept of this before to the point where when we had to go in and do a uh, shoe testing for this thing and, and like actually before they even developed the shoe, they needed to learn about how dancers move. So they had to take us in with the, our regular dance shoes, whatever we normally get down with. And they had to do like, you know, scientific studies and measurements. Did you wear like, like Converse and other shoes outside hell no, of Nike? Hell no, hell no. All right. Well, Converse is owned by Nike. So okay, good point. Technically good it's point. fine. All right. But like if we were rock, rocking shell toes, it was just like literally they were saying, sh show up in what you show up with. That's not yeah. the point. Just show up in what you show up with. So. We go to campus and uh, they take us down in the innovation center where they do like lab testing, actual lab testing. Wow. And they take us to this basement and they, the hangar doors literally look like fucking, you're just in a bunker. Is it like some dude with like a badge like or like retina scan type shit? Or? You, like everything from like the craziest NDAs I've ever signed in my life to like, you know, to badges and fingerprint shit. Like it, it's like Whoa. pretty Damn. intense. It's like uh, some White House type shit. It's sick. Uh, and you go down there and it's like, they take us to the basketball room because there's no dance room. Like that's how that's how brand new where we're at with this whole thing. They don't even have a name for it or a category in they're they're arguing on whether or not it should even be called dance. You know Whoa. what I mean? Like there's so many like, like it could be a movement shoe or exactly, something. Exactly, like exactly. Um so there's a whole whole world of things that they, they have yet to figure out. We're we're the, we're the guinea pigs. You know, there's actually a bittersweet feeling about it because like we maybe started a dialogue. We didn't answer any problems. We just started dialogue, you know what I mean? Move the needle, if you, if you will. But that I think is, that's enough for me to be proud of in terms of the legacy because there wasn't something beforehand. So even if we fucked up, the fact is it happened and now, now somebody can build off of it. You know what I'm saying? I remember sitting, um, yeah, they took us to uh, to where the basketball uh, people go in there to tr test their shoes because there's a there's a basketball court, so the flooring makes the most sense for us. It's not like we're going to dance mainly on turf, right? So we go to the basketball floor, and there's a clear window, you know, on the floor that has like weight sensors and stuff, what? cameras and lights, so they can track your foot movement. It's speed. clear. Yeah, just Holy just a square, shit. like where the free throw hole is. Wow. Right? And then and then Toby Hatfield, Tinker's brother, comes in and he, he's like. He sitting down with me, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and he's huge. He's like a sick ass VP in Nike that kills it too. By oh, the way, damn. From internal in the shadows, this wow. Wreck yeah, shop. because I never even heard of his, but I just know the he legendary wrecks designer shop. Right. Whoa. Anyways, um, and, and he sits down with me because I'm like sitting on the side while other guys are getting tested and stuff, and he's like, "How you feeling?" And I was like, "This is crazy. Uh, this is I can't believe we're here." And he's like, "Yeah, the, uh, LeBron recently was testing his stuff right there." Amazing. And I'm oh like, my God. I don't even know what to do with that information. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just like, uh, okay. <laughs> yep. uh, that, that's all you, there's nothing. Like, oh, yeah. I can't even measure the weight of what that means as a dancer yeah. because there's no other experience before us. You know what I mean? And uh, even just sitting in it, like the the, like, the bungalow where they they do like their crazy innovation meetings with Tinker and being like, and and trying to 
be a, a, an ambassador for dance, even beyond Kindred's and just trying to say honest things. Not like, yo, be sick. Like if it had these colors because our brand, you know yeah. what I mean? It had yeah. nothing to do with us. Yeah. It was genuinely even being like, um, we're, we're a little worried that uh, like, one shoe's not going to cut it. Like dancers are fickle. There's a lot of different types of movers. Like a ballet dancer's not going to care. You know what I mean? And it was one of those moments where he had to seriously be like, like we know that uh, this isn't going to be the answer for the entire culture, but people at the top, people who make real decisions for these kinds of things, even on behalf of Nike, sometimes they need something to understand and believe in. And it starts with one thing. Yeah. You never go, well, if you don't make the calls, I'm talking to the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> but you you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. kind of like that's what you need. So like uh, I think that's what we did. We 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 started with one thing, and if that were like the entirety of my dance legacy, I could honestly hang up my shoes and be proud for myself. Even if people don't understand the weight of that, you know what I'm saying? Because we did that shit in the shadows too. Like for four I love years. It. Look at that. Yeah. Branding never changes. <laughs> In the shadows for four years. In the shadows, not you? allowed to talk about this shit. You <laughs> know what I mean? Years? For four years, oh, we've been doing shit. it since the end of December 7, 2017. And the thing is, like, straight up, I started when I was 31 on that project. I'm 35 now. Wow. But but here's the bittersweet part. Imagine a 35-year-old basketball player in the NBA. Maybe yeah. they have great stats and legacy and all this shit, but yeah, like it's not that good. Yeah, like you're looking at the fucking 20-year-old that's killing everyone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that I'm I'm humbled to like be a part of you know, this moment for dance, but I also have to humble myself and understand that like somebody else is meant to pick up these shoes and do something with it. You know what I'm saying? I also feel like, like, I don't know if you feel this way or if other people perceive it this way, but because there has been no other model for it, it's almost like um, your guys' version of going to space. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like for like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, or whatever. It's like, yeah, we're using technology that exists now, but we're going into a frontier that has, no one has ever been. We don't know what the uses of that frontier are. We just know that we need to get there because that is obviously the next step. We've been staring at a telescope at a moon for decades now. So it's like, yeah, dancers wear shoes and the, the athletes, they move around and there hasn't been a shoe designed for the needs of a dancer. So we have to take that next step and who knows what happens after then. Like it could catapult a, a giant industry or it could be nothing. I, I think with the momentum of Paris 2024 Olympics uh, officially having breaking, yeah. uh, involved B-Boy and MB girl in there, that momentum plus where we're at, this is like the moment. Like mm -hmm. if there was a moment of momentum that could push the needle enough for some motherfuckers out there to suddenly be like, Let's put this shit on ESPN. Let's make a reality TV show about it. Let's do a Netflix docu series about like a crew and follow it. Let's it, like they do um, that other you know like the basketball and the football documentaries for like high school teams and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. like there can it, it doesn't just have to be dance moms or like a uh, uh, studio ballet nutcracker stuff that's like traditional that people understand. Like there's there's a whole world and we just need enough momentum at one time for the right people to kind of pick up and and, and you know it's almost like institutional money for Bitcoin. This is, I feel like we're at like 2006 or 2009 for Bitcoin, but for like dancers, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and you just hope and believe in something ideal about it, but we'll see, we'll see who can pick it up later.